to my channel if you are new welcome back to my channel we are back with another studio vlog this week um last week i did do a little etsy tips video which did so so well it's the best a video has done on my channel so far when i'm recording this isn't it, at nearly 200 views which is amazing and i got some lovely dms and comments saying thank you so much and they learned something um it made me so so happy so i'm glad you guys all enjoyed that and we also hit 70 subscribers which is so amazing so 30 away from 100 which is my like little first milestone goal um if we hit that i will be so over the moon i'll be so so happy so please if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed if you're new or you've watched my videos before and you just haven't clicked the button yet please please do because hitting 100 subscribers is my dream i would literally be so so happy um but yeah this week we have a lot to do um it's a very busy week again i've got a whole set worse pack which I've been putting, I've been like putting off because they're quite big ones, so it's going to be a lot of work. But I need to do it this week, like I need to do it this week. So definitely doing that this week. Um, photographing products, which I'm actually doing now. I'll show you in a second. Um, new products I need to design. So I ordered these um ceramic pencil pots. I can't remember if I showed you in the last video or not. I think they came after I finished stopping that stopped filming the last video but yeah so these little um ceramic like pencil pots you can use them as flower pots you know you can put anything in them even like cutlery i've done one design for them i want them to be autumn themed i have quite a lot that have like one two three four five six seven eight i have eight so maybe not all maybe some will be christmasy um base design for them and print onto them and photograph them i am considering um getting my photographs done by a professional photographer um so i've messaged and emailed a few and one of them's got back to me so i need to just email her back and we can discuss pricing and stuff like that and i'll let you guys know how that goes if that happens um because it's kind of hard to own photos in here lighting isn't great i have like two big bushes here which actually stops the light going in and then i'm just not great i'm not great at taking photos I'm okay, like my photos aren't bad, but I think I can get them done way better. So I'm gonna keep you updated on that. Um but yeah, a lot to do this week. But I thought I'd start the vlog now, even though I only just finished filming the last one, but I think it's good to keep on top of it. Whilst I'm motivated, I may as well pick up the camera, you know, because there are some days I'm not, so I'm motivated today. So we're gonna film today and I will show you what I'm doing. So I'm currently photographing some frames. These two also ignore my desk as marks all over it. I've had it for years. It's like hot glue and everything. So just ignore that. Um, but yeah, I'm photographing these two frames, which I have already photographed before. But the pictures turned out awful. Um, they had like a yellow like tinge on them. And I tried editing it as best as I can, but they just turned out rubbish. So I'm going to re-photograph them. And then I've got this watermelon photo frame, which came the day, the um, charms for it. I just made it up and I'm going to photograph that for my shop. Um, and also I have a disco mirror, which is over there actually. But I made a disco ball mirror. I will show you that actually right now. Yeah, so this little disco ball mirror, which I made and filmed a reel for, if you want to see me making it um, on my Instagram. So I need to photograph that somehow. And then also I have a gingerbread photo frame, which I haven't put a photo in yet um for christmas so i'll probably wait to photograph that though because i do want to get some like props in the background even though i technically do because i have lots of christmas decorations but uh, i don't know maybe we'll have a separate photo shoot for christmas stuff but yeah i'm gonna take some photos now and then probably pack orders after that i'm not sure but I'm gonna take photos also, also just in case anyone was wondering what camera I use, I use a Canon EOS 1200D. Um, it's quite old. There's probably been a lot more Canons since, but it probably means it's quite cheap now. Um, and it takes really good photos. You just want a standard camera. I'm not sure how much they cost now. Hopefully not too much. But yeah, I've had this for years. Um, and I really recommend this one. Definitely does the job.
this is the disco ball picture I got. I'm not 100 happy with it. The mirror is super hard to um, photograph though because it can go blurry. Like it, it's nice it won't focus on the mirror itself because obviously there's a lot of reflections going on. Um, but this is the best one I got. And then there's a watermelon, the watermelon frame. I thought it looked quite good. And then that's it. Um, so I've just been experimenting with like the background and like the angles and stuff. And I think I deleted some because obviously I picked the ones I like the best. But yeah, those are the photos I took. And I might take some more of the disco ball with like different um, props in the background just to make it maybe look a bit more exciting. Um, but yeah. So it's a bit later, I just uploaded those photos to my Etsy listings and now I am creating some star sign shirts because I used to sell um, these star sign shirts, put them down because I didn't like the design, they were really really outdated um, from when I first started my shop and it just wasn't my style anymore, um, So, I, and, but they sold really well so it was like really hard for me to take them down but they were just like so different to what I'm selling now that I just they look south place um even though they did so well but I decided to recreate them um which is my style now and put them back up hopefully they sell well again um we will see but yeah I've created um a few designs so I'll show you what I've got so I've only put two up because if I put all 12 up obviously it costs me quite a lot to list each listing so i might just put up like two or three and see how they go um if they don't get any likes or attention then i won't upload the rest but if they get a few likes and stuff and i'll upload all 12 um or people message me like hey do you have this in scorpio or something um but yeah that's the design um kind of like rats s with like a little halo but obviously not rats um but it's still my little twist on it but yeah, those are the shirts I did. And then this one here is similar and the No One Cares one sells quite well as well. So yeah, that's what I've done so far. And I've also put um, all the Halloween stuff I've designed um, on my Etsy into like one section, shop section. I don't know if that's actually a good thing to do. I don't know if it's better to have, say I make like a Halloween ring, is it better to have it in the ring section or in a separate section called Halloween? I'm not sure what is best to do, but I made a separate section for Halloween. We'll see how it goes. Um, But yeah, I'm gonna make maybe like one or two more of those t-shirts and put them up and then package orders, even though I was supposed to start earlier, but we have a Royal Mail strike today anyway, so it's not like anything can go out. Um, So there's really no rush, so I can do it. And late, as late as I want but I do want to do them today um and then I have a few more things to do on my to-do list so I need to actually check what my to-do list to, to do is today because I haven't actually looked and then take them off um but yeah I will keep you updated hey guys so I completely forgot to film for the past few hours but it's now the evening and I just remembered oh I'm filming a YouTube video this week um but I'm currently redesigning my thank you cards um the ones i've had i've had for like a few months now um i've ordered them quite a few times so i think it's time to have a new one um i've only designed the back so far like the wordy bit i haven't designed the front yet i'm not sure what's gonna go on the front but i will show you what i've got so far for the back i really really am loving it so this is what i've got for the back of my business card so far so i've just got like a little thank you message at the top same message as I had on my last business card. I just think it's like really cute and just saying thank you for the support basically. And then at the bottom, I've made my social links a lot clearer than my last business card because before I just put like the actual icons and then wrote Slab Chick Shop and then put the icons. Does that make sense? But this one I actually wrote Instagram, TikTok. Um, and then I put up, I upload weekly vlogs to YouTube. So it's just a bit clearer, um, which will hopefully attract more followers and stuff. Um, then you can also, I also put, you can join the community, just feel like, um, just more enticing. And then, I haven't yet made the pattern, but it's going to be a pattern in the background, basically. Um, so I'm just making that now and, like, arranging it. And then in the corner, like my last business card, if you saw in my last video, I showed you my business card. Um, a QR code is a really good idea. That This one isn't working, it's just one from Google, just as a place filler. But a QR code is a really good idea just so that someone can scan it and then follow you directly off that. So you can either manually type it in or follow it. So 
either way it's just attracting you know followers and hopefully potential future customers um but yeah i really love the design and the fonts and everything so that's the back and then when i finish the front probably sometime this week i will update you guys and update you when they come Well, it's actually the afternoon. I was supposed to start filming this morning, but I ended up being caught up in trying to renew my car insurance for the past four hours, like seeing the cheapest, you know, way to go and stuff. So much research, filling out forms and stuff, but I've finally done that and now I'm back in the office. Um, I've just put up that I'm running a 15% off sale, which might still be active when this video goes up. Um, I might actually keep it active when the video goes up, so like, if you don't see my Instagram post, you get a chance. Um, the code is 15 off. I'll put it on the screen in case um, you don't know how to spell it or get it wrong. But yeah, 15 off, just all one word, capital letters. Um, is now active on the website, so everything will be 15% off except my sale, um, because that's already discounted. Um, but yeah, if you haven't ever bought from me and had your eye on a few things, and now is your chance because I hardly ever run sales, maybe like two or three times a year. Um, we'll probably, probably do another one at Christmas time, but probably not until then. Um, and I usually only ever do like 10% off, so use this opportunity. Um, I'll keep running until the video goes out and then it will be turned off. But yeah, um, I'll put the link to my website down below, cyberchickshop.com um but yeah and now i'm probably going to pack some orders which i say every time <laughs> i hardly ever film it though because it's actually really awkward to film me packaging orders at my desk um i'll try to but i have also designed a print this morning before i started doing all the current on stuff um i designed like a i'm doing like a collection of initials like prints so for example like i did j obviously because i'm jess so i did like a j um, just like a really cool, I'll show you actually, a um, really cool like J. I'm going to do every letter of the alphabet, which will probably take me months to complete. But obviously, if you want to get the first letter of your name on your wall, it's like a print. Um, I might do it on mugs as well, maybe cushions. The good thing about, good thing about my business is that when I design something, it can be like so versatile. Like I can use it on a mug, a cushion, etc, etc, which I really, it's really good. Um, but yeah, I'll show you that now because I think it looks really good. So this is just a little print I did. The lighting is not only really picking up, but the background is pink, not purple. Um, but it would look good in purple as well. Um, but yeah, I just did like the little J and I added like a glitter effect, which I've never done before. I can't tell if it looks good or really, really bad. Um, but I asked people's opinions and they said it looked good, but I'm not sure whether I'll have it like that or not. Cause that's why I wanted to go for like a glitter. But it kind of just looks like someone has speckled like flour all over it or something i'm not sure um but that's how it is for now so i just did the j and then i have the rest of the alphabet to do um but yeah that's how that's turned out and then i've just posted on instagram um a little post saying to treat yourself and have 50 percent off my entire website and i'm going to do an email now as well um i'm going to put like a freebie um september calendar kind of thing so i don't want to just send out like sale you know i want to send out a freebie as well um because i haven't sent one out in a while um but i might make that as like a regular thing every month have like a little free printable calendar so if you guys like that idea but yeah i'm gonna start designing one now oh yeah i am back but i also thought i'd show you guys um some of the new stuff on my website and just like a little preview of my website in case you never checked it out before um and you realize you really really like something i'm just gonna quickly just really quickly show you what i've got on my website and some new stuff so this is my website this is on the shopping section and then i have some new products i just uploaded now so i've got some cherry phone cases lollipop phone cases i have loads of different phone cases um this blowing bubbles print which i designed the other day i can't remember if i put that in the video or not but i've done it the other day and then i have some rings some necklaces lots of mirrors 
um some of the photos need updating because they're not great <laughs> but um yeah loads of prints i have lots of different items i have homeware stickers mugs i have a sales section prints obviously phone cases keyrings and jewelry um so if you didn't want to check any of that out then yeah 15 percent off for the next two days um and you also get free shipping over 20 pounds to the uk so it's a few hours later, it looks like I've been in the same position this whole time, but I haven't, I have done other things. But I've finished my email now, it's all designed, I'll show you it. In case anyone on here sends emails and you want like some design inspiration, it's not amazing. But yeah, and I also finished the planner, um, little freebie print all things, I'll show you that. Here's the email, I just finished designing. Um, this is the little freebie that I've got, um, I did in the end go for like, a notebook one but i guess you could also put on your wall it just depends what size you print it so i guess it is kind of versatile um but yeah that's the little monthly thing and you can download it um and then i've got obviously my 15 percent off code and then i just put my latest video youtube video so it's just like updates and then a freebie so that's kind of emails i send out um maybe like twice a month or something Depending on how busy I am but yeah if you do want to get this little monthly calendar then make sure you sign up for my mailing list because I'll probably do one next month as well it might be like a recurring thing um but yeah so I just sent the email out and I'm now officially on my desk I feel like I've been on my something on my bean bag all day but honestly so glad I bought it um I don't know if I showed you actually, but I bought this little grey bean bag. So if you can hear the TV downstairs, by the way, it's sounding really, really loud. Um, I bought this little grey bean bag behind me um, from Amazon. I might link it below if I can. Only like £70. Such a good deal and it's huge. Um, so I've already said this. I cannot remember for the life of me if I've already explained it. But basically, when I sit at my desk here on this, I sit and I have like an IT, IKEA desk chair. It really, really hurts my back for like if I sit on any more than like an hour. It really hurts my back. So I bought bean bag. It's much more comfy. It really is good for your back. So anyone else suffers with a bad back from sitting down, if you're a small business owner and you sit down or work in an office, um, or work from home, obviously, then get a bean bag because it saves your back. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna do some orders now. Um so let's do the Aweber email. I haven't done that today. It's just I know it's gonna take me a while, but maybe tomorrow we'll do that. And anything else I need to do? So I've got a wholesale order to do, but I'm waiting. It's um, quite a lot of phone cases, and I'm waiting for like the blank sublimation cases to arrive for me to print on. Um, so hopefully they'll come tomorrow or the day after. And yeah, I think that's all I have to do for today. So I'm going to pack some orders now, maybe film a bit. Um, I hardly have any business cards left, as I was saying in the day. I think I have like 50 or so left. So I'm going to order... Um, so my new ones which i was showing yesterday probably today maybe um i'm so excited for them to come i love them so much but yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit so as you can probably tell i just restocked my smiley face charms um i used to have all these charms if you watched my videos a few um months ago i used to have all my charms in these like wicker baskets it was actually really inconvenient because i could never really tell how much stock i had left so now i've like separated them all in this container um and more there just so now i can see like how much of them i have left um i use these for like my rings um my photo frames my mirrors i've also ordered some like earrings um not dangly ones like what they're called stud earring like backs so that when they come i can like glue these charms on them so you can have like earrings if that makes sense if that makes any sense at all um, so they come soon, but yeah, we've got Halloween ones and some ice cream, some Christmas ones. I haven't really stocked them up yet. Um, yeah, just organised all that.
delivery um these are boxes that so basically if someone buys an a4 print from me and say a key ring or something else small it's hard for me to package in my um envelopes so i bought these boxes which like like two cent two and a half centimeters thick so that if they do buy a key ring or something it's a lot easier to package with a print um otherwise it's quite inconvenient so yeah just some boxes nothing exciting but i thought i made this whole film content is content right um yeah can we stock these i also made a huge order of these mirrors the other day you know i sell mirrors um because i had a wholesale order of about 15 mirrors i think so i ordered a lot um because yeah i need to do that as soon as possible we didn't go down today it's already four o'clock so i need to get cracking with orders so i'm going to do my wholesale order and then any other mirror orders i have i'll probably end up using them all today to be honest because i have quite a lot of orders for my mirrors um yeah i'm gonna start doing some orders for the rest of the day now so these are the items i have to do i've got one phone case three blue smiley mirrors three pink smiley mirrors four purple smiley mirrors and three yellow smiley mirrors Unfortunately, I've just realised that three of the mirrors have arrived scratched. Um, I would try and show the camera, but it's super hard to even photograph because obviously the mirror is reflecting. Um, but yeah, three arrived scratched is really annoying because I, I order them from this supplier all the time. Um, and they never arrived scratched before. It must be because I've ordered in bulk, so maybe a few are bound to arrive scratched. But yeah, three of them have arrived with scratches on the middle, so I've just messaged my supplier and hopefully they will send out three new ones um which is super annoying because i really wanted to get more done but hopefully i have enough left to do the wholesale mirrors um i've only done three blue ones so far so not much progress because i've just been through every single mirror like taking the peel off to check if it's scratched um and unfortunately three are because so i noticed one was and i was like I better check the rest and two more were as well but i'm gonna do the pink ones now with the most i have left um but yeah hopefully they get back to me and send some new ones out so i have officially finished making all the mirrors there's so many there um i'm probably gonna film a tiktok of me packaging them up um rather than on youtube but i will show you maybe when it's packaged um i might forget but yeah these are all the mirrors done um so that's one wholesale order done and then well obviously the phone case as well i'll put in that in a second and then my other wholesale order is quite a bit bigger um which i'll probably do tomorrow or the day after but so relieved that that's all done now it took me so long <laughs> hey guys so i wasn't actually gonna film today because my day off it is mine and my partner's tea anniversary um but i thought i could try and film some clips and just put them in here so i might put a little montage if i remember but i'll put a little montage now of um where we went and the meal we had and everything i'll insert them now Um, but I'm actually going to end the video here because I have so much to do today. I don't think I can even film 
I have that whole wholesale order to do and then packaging up and finishing off my other wholesale order and then also orders that um from yesterday because obviously I had Monday off. Um so a lot to do today. So I won't be able to film and the video is already quite long, I think I just went through all the footage. Um but I hope you enjoyed this vlog, this video. Um not super exciting, but it's just a realistic week in my life as well as owner um not every week is super exciting but hopefully um with autumn halloween and christmas coming there should be a lot more exciting videos um but i still hope you enjoyed it and please please subscribe if you haven't already because i think i'm on 75 subscribers now so really close to 100 and it means the world to me if i could hit that really soon oh my god it would be amazing um so please subscribe if you haven't already um yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye